Hey everyone, my name is Mason, product expert here at Fizcom, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial video on how we can use the modify block to enhance our concept sketches, uplift our imagery, and animate them with the new animate block to uh, provide storytelling um, really quickly on the Fizcom workbench. Uh, what I have here prepared is um, I went ahead and created a quick uh, rough thumbnail sketch of just a sort of environment landscape, you know, just something where, you know, maybe I have a character in a landscape scene, maybe standing on top of a stone cliff. And, you know, there's just some like background, you know, basic foreground, middle ground background. Although I purposely have left the background sort of uh, open for areas that we can insert using the custom modify prompt tool. Uh, so kind of going to showcase how we can leverage that to explore different ideas if I wanted to quickly ideate and just add or remove certain elements to my scene. So once I have this sketch all set up, what I'm going to do next is go into the workbench mode and attach a modify block to it. So to do that, I'm going to click on the plus icon, clicking on the modify and then we'll be greeted with a couple of different workflows that we can certainly try out. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and render our sketch. And to do so, I'm going to go ahead and click on the custom modify prompt area. By default, the custom modify prompt area will go ahead and take a quick look at your image and give you prompt suggestions like, say, imagine the landscape during the sunset. So this is just something to kind of get uh, people started if you wanted to just uh, grab some ideas and kind of quickly render them as so. Uh, clicking on this die icon, you can change some of these suggestions. So they're all driven by these action words and all can be also found more down into this area of all the different action words like change, make, add. So before we get, dive into that, we first want to take our sketch render and make it look more realistic uh, or something that would be a little bit more rendered. So what we're going to do is quickly add our own custom prompt say something along the lines of render this concept image of a lone wanderer with a large stick in a in a landscape environment concept landscape environment concept. We can also specify some details, grassy fields, um, stone cliffs, and clouds in the midground. And we'll add sort of photo reel towards the end, or we can also play around with different styles. Maybe if I want like more painterly or something a little bit more stylized. I can also explore that. But first, let's go ahead and generate what that might look like. All right, very nice. So as you can see, like the overall composition, you can kind of see the changes it made, some of the features that it added, but also kept pretty true. So a lot of the major shapes that we've kind of established within the composition are being translated, but now you can sort of see how they're now being rendered. Um, we have a different couple of compositional ideas. and. You know, I left the background sort of like open for interpretation. So you can kind of see how it's adding those different elements in there. So yeah, already we can kind of get a sense of like different ideas that we can play around with um, or just like changes that you can like riff on. So already from zero to a uh, render, it already modified does a really quick job of doing so like that. Um, I really like, you know, this is a very ominous sort of picture or um, maybe I want to, uh, take this image, right? But I want to like change some of the cloud shapes or maybe change the time of day. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe use this and envision it in different sort of like lighting theme scenarios or maybe seasonalities. So let's say uh, remove the ominous clouds in the scene, add uh, strong uh, sun rays illuminating the environment. Imagine this scene in, in a winter blizzard snowstorm, black rock, icy cliffs and 
you know. Yeah. Go ahead and take a look at one of these modifications. And let's say I wanted to add some new element onto the scene um, of this rendered concept sketch. So what I'm going to do is go into the 2D studio and select a contrasting color for my sketch line. So in this case, I might do something like a red color. Um, and now I'm just going to go ahead and maybe sketch out if there's some sort of like obelisk or mountaintop that might have some sort of like temple or some sort of like ancient ruin or figure. So I might just do some quick rough sketches. Maybe there's like this ornate multifaceted floating crown jewel that's sort of floating on top. And, you know, just a really quick idea, maybe it's like some sort of like crown jewel or some sort of like ancient thing that's emitting like mystical powers. Uh, I mean, I can also just kind of cover some of this up. All right, so now that I have my sketch on the canvas, maybe I'll write something like um, render the red line art sketch as a um, powerful uh, diamond, uh, powerful uh, jewel stone with mystical powers that's emitting strong that's emitting ener energy, um, right? So we'll kind of go there and render out a couple of different ideas. All right, very interesting. So uh, we have a couple of different variations on the shape and the size of this. I think uh, thematically, maybe I want to change it. Maybe instead of like this ominous, like jewel emitting power, maybe I want to change it to something like a dragon egg kind of like nestled within some sort of mountaintop. So maybe I'll change the modify prompt and say, uh, render the red line art sketch as a large dragon egg nestled in, 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 uh, in a rocky cliff mountain top in the background. Awesome. No, th this is uh, getting a little bit more closer to uh, something that closer to an idea that might work for this particular scene. So uh, I can choose between one of these two. I think uh, this one right here, I'm kind of uh, a fan of, so I'll kind of move on with this. And let's go ahead, I'm just going to remove some of this white spot that was rendered earlier. Awesome. And now what we can do, maybe with this particular story or theme, uh, the maybe the egg starts hatching, right? Maybe this wanderer, he's w walking through this grassy field and plain in search of this large, you know, egg or point of interest. And then he comes at right at the moment when it starts to crack and then uh, maybe some sort of like mystical beast dragging sort of emergence. So let's go ahead and use the modify prompt block and let's just simply say um, dragon hatching out of large egg nestled in the rocky cliff mountain. Ooh, look at that. So we have a couple different ideas. One of the head picking out uh, one. I like this one kind of like his, the top of the eggshell is now broken and we get that like some pieces flying out. Um, I do want to make a quick modification. So one more modification before we get into the animations is let's go ahead. I'm duplicating this and then I'm going to add another modify prompt block. And I'm going to say, you know, just make it, you know, this dragon looks as if he's a little bit more older, developed. Um, obviously, you know, if something hatches under an egg, you know, it's like something that's just birthed. Maybe instead of a dragon, it might be a phoenix or a bird. And let's also indicate that maybe it's like a younger 
type of, you know, just like a newborn, right? If it's hatching out of an egg. So let's say change the dragon into a newborn phoenix. Awesome. So I have a couple of different ideas. I ran two different prompts. Uh, I said newborn bird hatching from egg, and then I said dragon into newborn phoenix. So I think out of these, probably the best probably will be somewhere along the lines of this that we can kind of go through. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and take these two image ideas and combine them using the animate tool to see what we can get from an animation. So I'm gonna go to the plus icon on the top and click on the animate node. And from this node, I'm going to insert the first image as my first keyframe image as the start frame. So right here, I'll click on it from the first frame and then I'm gonna drag in the second image as the end frame. So I'm telling Vizcom, I want you to start with this egg uh, unhatched and then end it with the egg being hatched. So let's go ahead and give this a quick prompt description using the start and end frames. Let's say uh, lone wanderer in a overlooking a vast landscape, fantasy landscape. Overs of a large, a large phoenix egg nestled in a rocky cliff formation mountain top in the background. Phoenix is hatching from the egg. I'm going to go ahead once I have that prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and click on animate to generate a couple of different sort of animations. Uh, one important thing of how this prompt will work is that if I have my start and end frame, this sort of text prompt will act as sort of the transition period of how one frame transitions into the other. So you can almost envision like, you know, how however the egg wants to hatch or maybe like some sort of other area or action occurs in the middle, maybe if like the clouds are moving um, you can also indicate that as well, too. I'm um, also, let's say, for the sake of the example, uh, say that light rays illuminating nating the scene, the landscape scene as Phoenix is hatching from the egg. All right, so we have a couple of animations on the workbench. Uh, some of them are still loading up as I tried a couple of different configurations. Uh, with the new animation block, you actually get access to longer animations. So uh, some of the models, they are uh, a lot faster in generation, but since they are a little bit longer, like up to 10 seconds now, uh, you still might experience some um, wait time before you are able to play them. But once they do load onto the screen, we can take a look at the different examples. Wow, very cool. Super awesome. I love how the uh, the light illuminated from the egg cracked eggshells in this one. Let's take a look at this one as well. Wow, that's amazing. Um, just super inspiring to just kind of get different ideas of like this transition of the egg in its static form and then emerging with a phoenix. So uh, let's see what this one looks like as well too. Uh, this one I want to take note in particular. Uh, the one thing I changed within the prompt compared to the earlier two is that I wrote that there are light rays looming in the landscape. So that just goes to show make sure that if you want to add certain details within your animation that again your text prompt is going to be the best way to uh, provide different camera actions into or different uh, direction into your animation. So you can almost uh, take the role of a director at this point to kind of really find or uh, find different ways of enhancing this particular scene that you're trying to animate. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more others and we, we can wrap up.
Now, sometimes now these bottom three I did with the turbo animation mode, and you can kind of see sometimes, even though it will uh, animate, you do get some wonkiness sometimes. The only rule really for the start and end frame animation is that it has to pretty much start and end on these specific frames, but how it gets there can kind of take its own direction. So you can kind of see how these uh, don't quite make as much sense as the sort of phoenix emerges from the egg, but then the egg sort of like the bottom half of the shell gets reformed under it. So uh, just be wary of that and again, kind of play around the different prompting methods or different animation uh, modes that we have, whether it's turbo, whether it's standard, um, and then play around and have fun with it. So. Um, just to kind of quickly go over what we've made so far, we first started with this rough concept sketch, kind of um, giving a broad idea and you know, not really having a particular direction, just a particular composition in mind, um, yeah. rendering that composition out in a couple different methods, ways, and then uh, seeing what we can do to add different lighting effects, different seasonalities, using the modified custom prompt, using uh, different action keywords such as imagine, change, make, you know, uh, using the modify prompt to really uh, power or render through some of these uh, different areas, as well as, you know, putting in your own sort of like quick, like rough sketch, like, hey, I want to use this area, only change this part of the sketch and render that out. And then you can kind of get some different ideas, whether it's, you know, maybe a more ominous sort of uh, fantasy element or something a little bit more uh, hopeful or whimsical, such as a uh, sort of egg hatching from the from a large from a large egg and then using these custom modify prompts to eventually get to a a, a narrative that you want to direct um but then going ahead and using that to then animate and finish it off so that'll be it for this video uh thank you all for watching and this is a so that'll be it for this video i hope you everyone learned a couple of things about the modify prompt block and how to uh, try it out. It's really fun. Give it a try um, with different sketches or ideas and piece them all together with an animation. Super fun and can't wait to see what everyone creates.